Hey guys, Mohan Pober here. In the next call, you're going to see me talking with one of our partners, Ian. He's based in the US. Um, he's one of our partners. We're looking for businesses to buy. You'll learn about the process, what he's up to, what are his challenges, where are we finding deals, and just a, a regular conversation I had with him during the week. You'll see our process, what we're looking to do, and how you can do the same. Basically, the process of us looking to buy businesses, even if you have no experience or capital. You don't need to opt in pay for anything just watch this recording watch this uh, uh, video that we had and just us recording our call on uh, a zoom call so yeah hope you enjoyed if you have questions or you'd like to learn more about this space just comment below like this subscribe to the channel like this video and let me know in the comments below what questions you have so i'll know what uh what uh, next videos i should do for you guys so yeah enjoy uh, it's going it's going well you know i think there's um uh well, I guess, you know, I've been looking at a lot of different opportunities. Um, you know, one of the, uh, def definitely one of the challenges that I've been, I've been facing is, you know, some of the, some of the companies that I, I'm getting all these notifications from, uh, from Zoom here, just <laughs> as, asking me all these different things here. So one, one second. Oh, Zoom, really? Okay. No worries. Take your time. Oh, there you go. I can see you now. I can see you, but I can't hear you now. <laughs> um, can you hear me now? Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right. Um, so I guess I guess one of one of the challenges that I've been facing is you know some of the uh, you know the companies in terms of laying out their balance sheets haven't necessarily been including you know accounts receivables on them so you know i've been finding a lot of companies that have you know fixed assets you know whether it's vehicles trucks or you know equipment you know those those sorts of things or or even land but mm -hmm. um you know i i definitely definitely have those um you know but then but then a lot of companies have especially some of the uh, some of the ones I've found in manufacturing and, you know, jumped on the phone with the sellers and, and those sorts of things, you know, they've, mm -hmm. they've not even offered credit to their, to their, uh, you know, customers. So there's been a lot of, a lot of deals like that, that I've looked at. Um, you know, I've got, I've got, um, you know, one company that I uploaded to base camp and I, I was missing some of the material. Um, so I'm, I'll get that upload. I've been traveling the last couple of days, so I'll get that uploaded, uh, uh, today or tomorrow and you know they they have um while they don't they don't outline they don't have the receivables on their balance sheet um you know they do have a contract with a specific school district so it is contractually obligated um you know and, and i do have a copy of that contract so i uploaded that in, in the you know place of necessarily having receivables on the balance sheet um you know, there's a there's a marketing company that I'm talking to tomorrow that has contracts for half of their twenty. Uh, you know, to uh, so if they want to get the same uh, 2018 revenue as their 2017 revenue, they've got half their half their uh, uh, half of it booked out already. So they've contracts for about half the half the year for next year, as well as they have uh, some level of receivables on the balance sheet. Um, you know, with about sixty, I think it's sixty day terms. Um, so that's, that's one that I'm talking to tomorrow and then trucking company. Um, that one's just, I, I've, I've gotten a couple different companies where, you know, literally all the information's handwritten and, uh, wow. Yeah. yeah so how, that's, how old is, how old is the company? But it's handwritten. You know, the, the, well, and the, the company is, has been around since, for, since like 1980. Um, okay. But I, I think I think what it is is the broker is just exceedingly lazy, and so he literally gave the seller a, a like a form to fill out and had him handwrite everything. So uh, yeah, ab absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, um, it is. it's funny. I, I, I had a, that happen just one time in, in all the businesses I looked to. I looked at a, a business that existed for like. 50 60 years literally all of their numbers just they have lots of papers in their office just ridiculous 
Yeah, it's like, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know how you do business like that. It's just absolutely yeah, insane. I know it's, it, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so that's, that's, that's another one. Um, you know, they've got, you know, it's, it's selling for a reasonable multiple. Um, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're wanting, you know, three X. Um, so, you know, even pushing them a little, little down a little bit further and, you know, they've got a lot of trucks and, uh, you know, the management wants to stay all that sort of stuff. Um, Okay. I just I just don't know about the receivable situation because once again they don't list receivables as assets. Um, I know that they do have receivables or they they are owed money. Um, they just yeah. don't have it on their balance sheet. Um, the final company that I'm looking at right now that I that I'm I'm excited about is a staffing company. Um, they're generating about uh, two million a year. Um, you know, they're looking to sell for right now. They're asking prices about four X. Um, mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm in, in conversations with the broker on that one. Uh, he's not somebody I've, I've come into contact before. I've kind of, I've built up a network of uh, 20 different brokers kind of in the area who are, who are kind of, I'm, you know, in conversation, you know, I keep in contact with and who send me deals when they find something that's, you know, generating over about three fifty a year. Um, so that's, that's really where I'm at. Okay. And, and by the way, all those deals, how, how long they're listed with the broker already? Uh, so most of these deals have been, uh, on the market. There's, there's, uh, one deal, uh, another, another marketing communications company that just came on the market that I'm getting yeah. information on. Um, uh, the trucking company or the busing company has been on for uh, pushing, you know, eight months now. Uh, okay. Or uh, the yeah, the busing company, the one that I uploaded to ba uh, base camp, has been on the market for about eight months, eight twelve months. Um, trucking company's been on there for for a while as well. Nice. Um, the marketing, one of the marketing companies, you know, they've it's been on for I think pushing six months now. Um, I don't know about, I don't know about the staffing company. Um, I just, I haven't gotten enough information on that one yet. Okay. No worries. And by the way, did you, did you talk to the owners of those companies yet or not yet? Yeah. So I talked to the, I've, yeah. um, yeah, I've chatted with the owners of, of several different companies. I've gotten, I've kind of gotten rid of most of them just, you know, after, after, you know, realizing that, you know, yes, in fact, they don't have any accounts receivable and, and, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, or, for whatever reason, they're not offering terms to their, to their customers. Um, but I did, I did the, the company I uploaded to Basecamp, I did have a, a, you know, hour, two hour conversation with, with the seller. Um, you know, you know, he's, he's, uh, you know, interesting guy, you know, they're, it's, it's owned by two brothers, you know, they're, you know, they, they, they bought the business, you know, like 20, 30 years ago. And now they're just kind of looking to, they're looking forward. Their father died, uh, you know, at age 60, their one just turned 60, the other turned 59. And so they're, they're kind of, uh, concerned about, uh, you know, just establishing that transition. So they, they want to stay on, um, yeah. uh, but they just want to make sure that there's, there's a process in place for making sure that business just doesn't disappear. You know, their, their life's work just doesn't disappear. Um, you know, so it seemed like they were, they were a fan of me. Uh, you know, I guess we'll see when it comes down to, uh, comes down to it all, but, uh, you know, it, uh, they seemed like interesting people. And I've, I've got some, I've got a friend who, uh, whose grandparents and parents are from that area. And I think actually know these people and have, and, uh, are, are familiar with them. So, you know, if necessary, I could bring him in and, and, uh, you know, give him a couple percent or just, you know, have him come up with me and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when I go meet with them in person, I don't necessarily know in terms of, uh, accountability, you know, I've, I've been making sure I'm, I'm reaching out on about five new deals every week. Um, you know, about half of those slightly, about 60% of those three, let's, let's say three out of three out of the five turn out to be, you know, listings that, you know, are just, uh, zombie listings you know they're, yeah. they're not really for sale but um you know i have a, I have a crm that's going so i'm tracking all the deals that i'm contacting and i'm i'm nice. you know maintaining conversations and periodic emails and calls with the brokers that i've i've you know chatted with even on the zombie listings so mm -hmm. 
you know, I think I'm, I think I'm okay in terms of accountability and it's, it's more of a matter of time <laughs> and yeah, just, just the, 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 the turn, the, the, just the churn and, and, um, you know, finding, finding the, the deals that have the assets that we can, we can do this with, yeah. um, you know, on, on that note. So, you know, I've, I've been seeing all these, all these, so right now in kind of the Midwest, there's a lot of companies for sale, um, in the trucking world, um, you know, logistics, trucking, you know, they own, uh, you know, a bunch of, uh, tractor trailers. Um, and I believe most of them have some level of receivables on their books. Um, you know, but, but specifically about the, on the, on the vehicle side of things, you know, what, what type of appetite are you seeing for, uh, the financing of, of those types of things? Cause I know when buying it new, you know, basically the entire business is run on financing, but I don't know about the appetite for, you know, what's for this, this type of situation. Oh, yeah. I can sort of hear you. No. Hey, Ann. Can hey, you hear me? I, I can yeah, hear you now. Sorry. Yeah, no, I do. That's I have right. change, change my location. But uh, oh, yeah, no so go ahead. You talk about those come. So in, in the end of the day, and I lost you in the last sentence, but based, from, based, based on your question, in the, in the end of the day, we don't care about the type of industry or specific company. If we have the assets to leverage and if, you, if we have a motivated seller, we're good. We can move forward with it or at least make an offer. Um, in the end of the day, you only know if it's a good opportunity after you make your first offer then you know hey right. am I, are you in the ballpark or not and you can sense it pretty pretty quick after we send the first the first offer mm -hmm. so but but in terms of uh because i i know, I know you, know, you you've mentioned previously like focus focus on on you know businesses that have a high degree of, of accounts receivable yep. um you know and, and for for obvious reasons or yeah, assets, then, assets in general yeah okay so assets. Maybe, yeah can be okay. can be also inventory, real estate, obviously cash in the business. I uh, accounts receivables are just, uh, I guess the, the that's the asset that we like to we like to finance the most, right? Just yeah. the, but, it's um, easy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So so the really any type of and so in terms of the you know rates on some lending, you know, are are those are those comparable across, um, you know those different assets so because I'm, I'm looking at a lot of companies and sorry i'm moving around here i'm plugging my yeah, ipad no worries. Um, but uh you know thinking about in terms of you know we're, I, i've been finding a lot of companies that are, are trucks or, or these these types of busing types of transportation types of companies mm -hmm. and so that they have they have vehicles which you know I, I think you know would make decent collateral for for some of these lenders and, and some of these creditors um, you know, but thinking about it in terms of comparing it to, to accounts receivable, obviously a, a lesser, lesser asset. Um, and while I think we can, we can get financing for it. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm curious about, you know, what your experience has been in terms of, you know, that type of financing versus necessarily, yeah. you know, accounts. Yeah. Yeah. So here's what I found out with financing uh, inventory in general. First of all, if the inventory amount is less than, ideally not less than 500,000, mm -hmm. let's say I wouldn't look at financing any, any inventory unless it's um, at least 200,000. Yeah. And again, it really depends obviously on the type of inventory, but less than that, asset based lenders won't even look at it. It's not, it's not worth it to them, mm -hmm. especially if there's no accounts receivable. So for example, if you have accounts receivable as the main asset, and then you have some inventory, then they're okay. They're more okay financing the inventory as well, as long mm -hmm. as the accounts receivable is the main assets that they finance, because that's where they're making most of their money. 
Um, as for how much, it really, really depends on the type of, uh, of, of, of assets and with trucks and, and uh, uh, I guess with, with any auto business, uh, it really, really depends. And I, I can't give you an exact answer because any information yeah. that will give finance here will just, we'll just get dif different answers based on the inventory. Mm -hmm. So unless I see a list of the exact inventory we have and we send that before that, I, I just can't tell you exactly how much we can raise. Cool. Okay. No, that's that's helpful, and I I'll make sure to include when I when I upload these the the lists of the the individual you know tractor trailers and 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 those types of things. Um, no I'm yeah. gonna do one whether it's it's uh, uh, whether it's it's this week or you know next week or you know a couple weeks couple weeks further. It's 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 gonna happen. Um, I, just, I love it. I just, that's that's the attitude. I love it. Yeah. It's just a matter of time. If, you, if you're going to make the decision that, hey, this is what I'm going to do for a living, at least as part of my life, whatever you do for a full time, right? Mm -hmm. If you're going to say, hey, this is what I'm going to do for a living as well, you'll do that deal eventually. It's just a matter of staying in that game and being consistent, literally, and just, then oh, just yeah. a matter of numbers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, uh, another question for you. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, obviously, you know, ideally it's, you know, is, is there a limit on the size of, of the, the company in this strategy, you know, obviously assuming the lower multiple? Yeah, so we found out that our sweet spot, our business is doing between one to 10 million a year in sales. We found out that uh, bigger businesses, we just tend to, um, we're just going to compete with trade buyers and private equity firms, and they have just access to uh, some of them unlimited amount of capital. So we don't want to compete with them. We'd rather do more smaller deals. Or <coughs> it's not really small, but between one to 10. And then we can pretty much, I mean, ton, many of those businesses we can buy for three, four, five times multiples of FIBIDA. And the beauty with those deals is that the owner actually care about their employees and their brand. And you mm -hmm. find out that with bigger businesses, all they care about is the, the amount of money that they'll get. And there's nothing wrong with that, obviously, but it's just less our strategy. We want to find people who, who care also about who's going to buy the business from them. And then we, right. we focus on building rapport with them and just getting better terms. Right. Yeah. Cause I, I ask because I have some, have some, some friends who, who, uh, you know, work in the private equity realm, uh, you know, yeah. more in terms of, uh, middle, you know, middle market, you know, types of companies. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so, one of them was asking me the other day what types of deals you know I'd be interested because they you know obviously they receive you know a whole whole yeah a whole number of of different size deals and you know they were saying that they had a couple of you know ten to twenty million dollar companies that like transaction size that were selling you know that that you know they weren't quite interested in that have kind of been on uh, around for a while you know owner you know originally owner owned um and you know we're selling for for not outrageous multiple or you know reasonable on the low side multiples. Okay. Um, um, so we we can definitely check them out. Like, I mean, if they're doing between ten and twenty, uh, the multiples are fair, like fair accounting valuation. And ideally, what you just mentioned, they're on the market for a while and no one bought them. Mm -hmm. We can check it out, right? It's just a yeah. matter of yeah, figuring out. Just based on my experience, most of those deals are just just harder to do so yeah uh, again we are happy to look at them and it's the same process um so yeah if i mean if it's your friend i mean why not it's, it's those are deals that maybe other people can can have access to them so it might be worth checking them out definitely yeah, absolutely yeah i'll i'll do that and if you have i'll tell you even more than that if you have friends in private equity firms i mean by all means ask, ask them potentially for what deals they're looking for because maybe we can find the deal and bring them as our partners and help with financing. So mm -hmm. some of those deals that you can not find enough assets for us to leverage, we can bring them to bring in some equity kick and then mm -hmm. close more deals that way. So that's just something to think about if you have friends in that, in that space. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll kind of mm -hmm. circle, circle the word around. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Um, but yeah. And yeah, any other last questions? Uh, let's see. I asked you about the, Transportation assets. Um, mm 
no, I don't, I don't think so. Um, yeah, I think it, it makes, makes sense. Um, yeah, like I said, at this point, I think it's, I, I understand the system and, and yeah, I, I think I do, you know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, but uh, it, it seems like it's much more just a, a function of talking with enough people and, and uh, you know, having enough of those meetings and just making, making enough offers. So yeah, um, just kind of, just kind of dealing with all that, which, yeah, and just, and just put, putting yourself out there in general, like um, the fact that you're going to put yourself out there as an investor, as someone is looking to buy businesses, you'll see so many opportunities will start to come to you. And those are the best. Like we have uh, one of our guys, uh, Flint, he got a deal mm-hmm. just now from, from, I don't know where, but she's this business with uh, this lady. She's like, I think eight years old and she's just looking to, I don't know, you know, get, retire finally. Mm-hmm. So we have this amazing opportunity of a business that no one even heard of. I mean, it's not listed with any broker. It literally came to him from someone, you know, because one day in the past, he just told him, Hey, I'm looking to buy businesses. Right. Mm-hmm. So you'll see, you'll start to get those opportunities as well. Uh, and those are great. I mean, when you mm-hmm. get those, you see that that's so fun because no one out there even knows about those opportunities. Right. Right. Yeah. But yeah, ma- matter of time, my friend, just, Put yourself out there, talk to enough businesses, and, and we'll, we'll close the deal soon. Cool. Yes. Sounds, right, sounds like a plan. Good stuff. So yeah, keep, keep, keep us updated. Any question you have, just message me. You have my details. And, and yeah, let's, let's move forward on those deals. Absolutely. All right. Good stuff, Ian. Thank you for your time. Uh, All right. Have a great rest of your day. You as well. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.